Well, it could never happen to me. That's probably what you think when you hear us talk about the latest round of opioid drug deaths. However, law enforcement, substance abuse experts, and even parents all tell us that just a single moment of curiosity can be fatal. Well, unfortunately, seeing it happen to people of all ages, including teenagers. So maybe you think your kid's not mixed up in all of that, but if you have even an inkling of a suspicion, could you find your child's hiding spots? KPRC2 investigator Bill Spencer shows us the new sneaky ways kids are trying to hide illegal drugs right under your nose. You already know what these are. Illegal drugs like cocaine, opioids, and marijuana. Now, take a look at the very latest secret stash devices marketed specifically to help your kids hide those illegal drugs right inside your own home. The outside looks like a normal belt, but if you look on the inside here, you can see there's, there's a stash spot that you can put whatever you want to hide. Everything from fake bottles of soda to a hollowed out lint brush to a fake watch. Yep, drug experts say they're cheap and easy for kids to buy online, and they are quickly becoming more and more popular. Pretty much all of them you can buy on Amazon. Can you hide marijuana? Yes. Can you hide cocaine? Yes. So would you be able to find these devices in your kid's bedroom? To find out, we're putting two real life moms, Sabrina Miskelly and Brett Harper, to the test. So this is Sabrina Miskelly. She has two teenage boys, 13 and 16. Sabrina, if we were to hide illegal drugs inside your children's bedrooms, do you think you could find them? Of course. What if we were to camouflage them, so to speak, put them in secret hiding spaces, then what do you think? I'm not so sure. We're gonna find out right now. Right away, I begin hiding fake drugs all over the boys' bedrooms and bathrooms. Wow, this is a good one. Looks like a tiny pack of Kleenex, but look at this. Hiding spot for pills. How about this Comet cleanser? I can even pour some of it into my hand, but it's a hiding spot. Pop that off. Stuff this right in there. Fresh water? Not really. Check this out. Open that up. Put some powder in there. Okay, so this boy loves Coke. Right there, we got a Coke can. Coke, the real thing. Not this time. Put some pills in here. In all, I plant 10 different stash devices all over and then send Sabrina in to find them. This is brand new. And even though she picks it up and looks at it, she misses this metal water bottle stash. This looks like a cheap battery. This is probably real. <laughs> misses the fake battery and misses the hairbrush. In fact, Sabrina finds only one of the 10 stash devices. Time to clue her in now. This looks like a watch, but it's actually a marijuana grinder. Wow. Yeah, weird. I've never seen anything like that. And remember that water bottle she picked up? Well, on the bottom here, one screw. Wow. And how about this boy's belt? This one's got a hiding space. Oh my gosh. I am literally speechless. <laughs> to move on to mom number two. So now we're in Meyerland. This is Brett Harper. She has 10 children. Three of them are teenagers. Brett, if I were to hide illegal drugs in your children's rooms, do you think you could find them? Yes, I do. Okay, again, I hide 10 different items and Brett goes right to work to try to find them. This is definitely something. And right out of the gate, Brett finds the fake cleanup. Aha! Uh -huh. You found it. <laughs> you found the first thing. Wow. Right. Okay, that's one. And she finds this hair scrunchie that we stuff with powder. Look! I found it. In all, Brett finds four of the 10 stash devices that we hid, but still misses a lot of them, including this hairbrush. With the rest of the hairbrushes, we have this wow. hairbrush, which was loaded with pot. I would have never thought to look in a hairbrush. She misses the cleanser. That's no That's way. real cleanser, but guess what? In the bottom? Oh my gosh, those sneaky little devils. Look at that. I would have never looked in that comment. Yeah. I, I, I'm, that was sneaky. Sneaky is right, but also a powerful lesson for all parents on what to look for if you suspect your kids are hiding drugs right under your nose. 
Alrighty, so now you have a good idea of the types of items kids are using to hide illegal drugs. One more important thing to remember, if you're going to search your teenager's room for their secret stash, addiction experts say start by looking for the items that look completely out of place in there. A bottle of water or soda that your child would never drink, a girl's shampoo or a girl's hairbrush in your boy's bedroom, a can of bathroom cleaner when your kids never clean anything. Bingo. Yeah. You nailed it right. They've got Clorox in their room, there's a problem. Yeah, I mean, how, how many times is your son going to be breaking out a can of, uh, you know, a Comet, Comet cleaner? And at some age, like as a parent, you're like, okay, I know I'm the one who buys those things, so where did that come from? But right. the hair scrunchie mm -hmm. and the boy's belt, yeah. I mean, both of those were completely, I mean, very surprising. Basic. You said, like, okay, so you don't want to be overly paranoid, but you do want to know about these things. You yeah. said, I mean, how do pe parents find these things to sort of know? I'll tell you, the, probably the best thing that any parent could do to, to figure out all of the different devices. We showed you a bunch of them in this story. But to see all of them, just Google uh, secret stash devices, kids hiding yeah. drugs, uh -huh. um, devices to hide illegal drugs. Uh, Google that and this I mean, and the, the list is incredible. It's like uh, never ending of all these different devices. And you'll see exactly what they are, and then you'll know what to look for. Well, they're yeah, right there. This is interesting. And they're cheap. Of, the, yeah. the, the most, the scariest part is they're cheap yeah. for kids to buy, so they can all buy these things. Right. Uh, and, and we're, we're watching these mothers. You know, th th these are these are great moms. And one out of ten, they, they find one out of ten or four out of ten in a given room. So maybe another point is we need to we need to know our kids' rooms too right. yeah. to know what looks out of place. Yeah. Well, well, you're killing me because one of the moms, um, Brett, said that exact thing to me. She said, "My God, you know, I've got to take a regular look at my kids' room from now on because I don't have any idea what's in there. Right. I've got to know more about what my children have in there, uh, you know, to keep this from." If anything, you want to stay right. out of that mess, but no, you got to. No, get in. you got to get in there and look look around. All right, yeah. thank you so much. The first part of many stories we're doing this week on the op opioid crisis. Thank right. you, Bill. Very